Water is an everyday part of our lives. We use it to cook and clean with, but most of us don't know where it goes when we're done using it. In Grand Rapids, used water is directed to the wastewater treatment plant. This plant serves 11 communities and 260,000 customers. We spent the week taking a look at some of the sharp new sustainability projects at the treatment plant. Hi, I'm Adam Burrell and I'm here at the Environmental Services Department to talk about some of the changes that have been taking place to lower the impact on the environment. Now, what do they do at ESD? Well, it's simple. When you get done using the water and it goes down the sink and it gets collected by the sewer system from the time it leaves your sink, your bathtub, your toilet, whatever we take over once it gets to the street, we bring it here to the plant, we treat it, we make clean water out of it, and then it goes into the river. They also deal with stormwater runoff and erosion in the city. All right, I'm down here with Mike Lund, the manager of the Environmental Services Department. Now, Mike, how does environmental services fit into the sustainability plan at Grand Rapids? Well, with sustainability, it's really like a three-legged stool. You got environmental, you have economic, and you have social. So we're the, we, we hold up the environmental leg, but you can't have one with the other. So when we do an energy improvement out here, which helps the environment because we're using less electricity, less carbon pollution from the coal burning plants, and we reduce the cost of treatment sewage by using less electricity. So right there you got the triple bottom line approach. Mike explained that the wastewater treatment plant uses new technology to meet sustainability goals. The new blowers being installed will be much more efficient for the plant's processes. One of the key things we did here at the city's wastewater plant is we started using a special kind of UVAS probe to control the UV and the intensity of it to make sure we got just the right amount of disinfection. And this probe was one of the first ones, was the first one in North America installed and used by a municipality. So we were kind of innovative in that way. It reduces our electrical costs by someplace between 80,000 and 200,000 a year for the operation of this system which means we're using less energy, having less impact on the environment, and really making it green for the citizens of Grand Rapids. This is our UV system. It consists of two channels with four banks. There are two sets of lights in each bank. This is one of the lights. There's 168 of these in these two channels. The reason we went to UV was to get rid of chlorine and sulfur dioxide. The plant is moving toward becoming chemical free. Part of this initiative is eliminating the chlorine that was being used. The Great Lakes Commission identified chlorine as a chemical biological concern because it builds up in the ecosystem. It's always there and it stays persistent. The more you put in, the more it's there. So we wanted to get rid of chlorine and sulfur dioxide and head towards a chemical free plant, which is more sustainable. You don't have the trucks on the road, with the carbon emissions on the greenhouse gas aspect, and we only have to power it with electricity. And we can control the electricity, move it up and down, save the dosage, and actually have better control over our bacterial counts going out of the plant. The plant has made strides both inside and outside to better serve the community. I'm here with Nicole Pash at Environmental Services, and Nicole, what do you do here? I'm a water pollution control inspector. I work for the industrial pretreatment program, which is the wastewater treatment plants monitoring of the industries and their discharges to the wastewater treatment plant system. Now, what are we, uh, what are we looking at back here? This is one of our great um, sustainable projects we uh, have taken on in ESD. What this used to be were old um, primary tanks and they were out of service. And so we replaced this gray infrastructure with low impact development, green um, natural systems. This completely natural solution helps to control erosion by the river and maintain the environment. So we're looking at a couple of projects here. What are the different things going on at these facilities? Okay, well this is one of our latest projects here, Adam. Um, um, this, in the North Aeration Control, there's blowers that provide oxygen to our microorganisms down below this cement area, mm -hmm. um, which decompose some of the solids in the wastewater. So the blowers provide excess heat and energy is produced you know, off of them when the, just in their general function. Well, that excess heat we've now pumped through this series of silver tubes over to the North Secondary Control Building. Um, it provides all the excess heat that we need in that North Secondary Control Building. We don't have to um, purchase any gas or use any extra gas. We just use secondary heat to heat that building and um, 
We have recently earned the 2012 Sustainability Award from the Engineering Society of Detroit um, for a municipal uh, new energy heat recovery system. So we're pretty excited about that. There is also a similar system that heats and cools the lab of the plant. They install the heat exchanger that uses final effluent to control the temperature better than in the past. It's six years later and now we paid for the system, we've made up our money, it's still heat in the lab, we're getting better QAQC because the temperatures aren't going up and down. Our ICP mass specs and other equipment isn't affected by the humidity and the temperatures anymore. And these instruments are really sensitive. We measure things down to parts per million with them. And on some of them we go down to parts per billion. And that's in order to keep the water clean going into the river. We have to know what's in it and make sure that it's in good shape at all times. This facility has really taken sustainability to heart and has worked hard to make Grand Rapids a better place. Hey Mike, just wanted to say thanks again so much for letting us come out all this week and uh, shoot around the plant. Well, you're welcome. It was great to give you an opportunity to see what we're doing out here. And come on back in a couple months. We'll have this construction complete behind me and the liquid side of this facility will be chemical free. We'll be treating the wastewater and be making clean water without chemicals. Well, we'll definitely come on by and uh, see that when it's all done. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.